Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 178 of the Daily Dose of Drupal. I am Adam, and today we are going to be looking at the Image Field Focus module. This is a module that I happened to just stumble across um, the other day, and I found it actually to be really useful and some one I wish I'd known about in the past. But what it basically allows you to do is it allows you to have a di an additional image um, setting on your image fields it allows you to focus in on specific areas of images um, without um, having distortion and everything else. So you can see from this example I pulled up here, um, there's two different rectangles going on. The smaller one is the part of the image that we're going to focus on, while the outer rectangle is what we're cropping the image to. So and I'll show you what all that means, but just know that it's a really helpful little module that allows you to focus in on certain areas of images without having um, or without losing your focus. So, but before we get into that module, of course, we have to do a little bit of uh, co karate things here. Uh, one of which is this is the first video after we've released our Git cheat sheet. So, make sure to head on over to codekarate.com and you'll see we have two cheat sheets um, our Drush one and then our new one, the Git cheat sheet. Uh, make sure to uh, sign up for those and get those in your inbox. Um, we find them very helpful. Um, obviously, love to know if you do as well. Um, in addition to that, of course, we still have our five secrets ebook out there. Um, continually doing updates to that, so make sure to check that out. Um, other than that, just appreciate um, any other support you can give. All right, let's get down to the module. So again, we're doing the image field focus module. Um, I am using 7.1 uh, module, so Drupal 7, first version of this module. Once you get the module installed in your directory, you just need to turn it on. So if you go to modules, enable it there. There's no other, uh, well, there's a few other dependencies. It does require image file, field, and field SQL storage, but nothing out of the ordinary that you probably wouldn't already have on your Drupal install. So get that enabled. And what that does is it allows you a, another additional setting on your image caches. So if you go into um, oops, configuration, image styles, and then this is where you can obviously set all your image styles. I already have one set up, but I'm going to add another one for this video. Call it image focus live. And then this is very similar, but in the new uh, in the effect settings, you can scroll down and you'll see a couple different options in here that you normally wouldn't see. Um, one is a focus crop, and one is a focus scale and crop. Um, main difference, of course, is being that the second one allows you to scale as well. Um, that's the one we'll focus on today. So let's go ahead and add that. And then the first thing it asks you to do is it says, okay, which where do you want to scale this to, or how big do you want to make this image? I'm just going to set mine to 500 by 500. And the next setting is um, the focus strength. Basically, it's how how much do you want to adhere to the focus rectangle that you're putting in. I'm, I always keep mine set to high because it's stricter. Then as you go down, it gets lower and lower, and there's a little bit more leniency. But for this video, we're just going to focus on the high setting. So we add the effect. And then all we need to do is we need to assign this field to our uh, content type. This obviously does work with views as well, um, but for this we're going to just use our content type. So we head over to structure, content types, so we're going to find the content type we want to manage, which is going to be football players. And we have a picture field already included, so we're going to edit that picture field. And then um, if you scroll down here you'll see a focus settings option available. This is this is what allows you to specify what on the image which you want it to focus on. So by clicking the enable focus you're turning it on. Um, you can set the minimum size. Basically this is saying we won't let the focus be any smaller than 100 by 200. Uh, I'm going to change that to let's say 200 by 200. If you do lock the ratio it would always keep this in a one to one ratio since I have a 200 to 200. If this was 100 by 200, it would be a 1 to 2 ratio. I mean, I'll show you what that means, but I don't want to lock my ratio, so we will leave that unchecked. Um, that's all you need to do there. So go ahead and save the settings. Oops, I forgot one other thing. Um, your minimum resolu 
image resolution can't be less than what your minimum size is here. So I forgot to change that to 200. I'll just change that to the same. So the image will never be smaller than 200 by 200 is what that means. So then we I need to come over here to manage display. And on this picture setting, we need to change this to the new image style I'm using. So I'm going to use image focus live instead of image focus. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and click save. So now I'm, my picture field is using the image focus live image um, style that I've selected. So now if I come over here, I'm going to edit this node. And in here you'll see that I have a huge image of um, Steve Young. But obviously I don't want to show that huge image to as the end result. So if I scroll down below here, I get into my image field and focus settings. And there's two different rectangles that I can select. A focus rectangle and a crop rectangle. The focus rectangle is a part of the image that will um, be what it says, be in focus when once the scaling and cropping is done. So for example, I'm gonna focus, I want to focus just on this football. So if I focus right on that football, that looks good. And if I select the crop rectangle, I just click on the image. This is this will basically exclude parts of the image I'd never want to be seen. So if we hop back here to this example, that's this white one here. So what they're doing is they're saying I never want to see that frame of that picture. So it's going to focus just on this lady here but it's also going to crop outside of this square so we'll never include the walls and the frame as well. So if I jump back here to my football player, I don't, let's just say I never want to see anything below um, his waist and above his head. So I don't want to see that. I don't want to see anything else. And you notice here that I can change the dimensions if I did lock that ratio, it would stay in a two by or a one by one ratio. But since I didn't lock the ratio, I have a freedom to make any size I want. So that looks good. I'm going to focus on the football, but then I'm going to just exclude anything outside of his waist and head line. So if I save this, load the page here, scroll down, you'll see there we go. I'm focusing on the football. And remember, I set my image size to be 500 by 500, which is what it is here, but I'm focused on the football. Well, let's say that I said, no, I want to see what this if this works, if I want to focus on just his face. So I can just scroll down here. I can change that to saying, I just want to see his face. And let's, oops. Get his face. And we'll also prove to you this crop works too. So if I come back to this crop one, let's say I never want to see anything below the, I don't want to see his number at all. So I'm going to go just say that. So in this next image, we should not see any part of his number, even though um, we might think we should. So if I scroll down, there we go. So it, again, it focuses down to this image size we wanted, 500 by 500, but it also crops out the number. I don't see his number anymore. But again, it is focusing on the rectangle which I selected around his face. So that that's basically what this module allows you to do. Um, there's a ton of options. Again, it integrates with views. Um, if you do head over to the image focus module page, they do have an, a kind of a cool example here. If you try out a demonstration, oops, that's not what I wanted. Wrong one, sorry. Yeah, click on an example, excuse me. This is this these four phases here are using that image field focus. So this would be really useful if you had a profile page or a staff page on your site and you just wanted to have the first image be a headshot and then when they click on a person's profile picture, then it would blow up and you could see the full size image. It's kind of a cool way to be able to use one image multiple times using different scale and crop features. So that is a benefit. If you guys do want to see how this integrates with views, just leave me a comment in below and I'll post a video of how to use image focus with views, um, kind of like what they're doing on this example site as well. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to focus on just displaying it with, on a just on a node page like I did here. All right, guys, again, if you have any questions in addition to that, make sure to post them in the comments. Uh, make sure, again, to head on over to Code Karate. We appreciate your support. Um, check out our recent posts, check out our cheat sheets, check out our book, just check us out. Uh, until next time.
talk to you later.